Hey everybody, welcome back. It's uh, Repentance. Let's turn on the randomizer here. Hey, it's not the randomizer's fault that that last run went off the rails. It's my own. I mean, it's the developers for putting, you know, TM Trainer in the game, but it's also, it, it's me. It's also, you know, if you ever gotta wonder, like, where things went wrong, just remember, look in the mirror and remember what Sigur Ross said. It's you! It's, uh, anyway. Um, that's really bad. That's, that's terrible. Let's do it. <laughs> Jacob and Esau. Then, Boss Rush. And then also Mother. Um... So there are, allow me to say, I've, I've literally did this exact run um, less than a week ago on stream. Uh, that doesn't mean it's easy. It was, it was actually mightily annoying. Like it was, it, it took us a long time. Uh, it was a pain in the butt. And, uh, you know, with, although we did eventually get it to go, there was a large period of time where it, it didn't appear that that was necessarily going to be guaranteed, which is fine. Linger Bean. Okay, th there's a new one. I didn't know you could have a zero tier item. Uh, did I? I thought this was Giga Fart. My mistake. They're both really not very good. <laughs> Giga Fart might be better. Oh my god, it's death certificate. Okay, so here's th this video has now already justified its own existence, okay? Death Certificate is, um, I, I think that's what that is anyway. It allows us to get any item we want. What we should do, there, like, to win the run, I think there's a lot of, like, debate, right? Like, if you get Death Certificate, what item should you take when you have the option to take any item in the game? Some people would say, you know, take R key, get as far through a run as you possibly can, pop the R key, start over from zero. That makes sense to me. I think if you're if you're a normie, you know, and you're trying to just like win a run as like a single character, something like Sacred Heart or or even Mom's Knife or Brimstone is is a really good get, you know, just a sizable damage increase that doesn't damn you with a run that's going to, you know, be forced to be like 4 hours long just to work. That's more of the content creator. Or if you want to do it yourself, then then maybe the R key, for example. But um, if you're just trying to have fun, I think maybe like, uh, you know, grabbing something like uh, like Sacred Heart, Mom's Knife. I don't, I don't think it can serve you wrong. Um, for us, I think we have an obligation to use Death Certificate to grab C-Section. That, it's... I think that's the only way you can get the item except for spinning down Little Abaddon. Uh, at the very least, even if we can't get C-Section, then I think that what we should do is use it to grab an item we've never had before. This is the kind of thing, like, Death Certificate already is one of the six items we're missing. And then on top of that, we can use it to grab one of the other five items we'll be missing after picking it up, which... It, it really strikes me as, like, it's basically a dream come true. Now, why didn't I do it immediately? Uh, because I'm, like, genuinely just unconcerned about fighting, uh, Monstro or any first floor boss. I don't think we're gonna die. And then this is where you say, if you did, it would have been funny. And then I say, yeah, like, so many hypothetical things that don't come to pass in reality would have been hilarious. But I'm not too concerned about it. This gave us time to puzzle it out. This gave us time to think about it. And now, if you'll excuse me, let's um, let's do it like this. It's a it's a very interesting situation. It is death certificate. You'll return to the room you came from. Okay, that's that's good intel. I don't really think it matters who got it, um, and we'll just use it right away. And then I'm gonna pause. Because I want to know <laughs> what, like, uh, C-section Isaac looks like. C-section. It's not implemented. Okay. How do you get it? it you can get it from death certificate. Okay, and then it kind of looks like, um... It looks, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to tell you what it looks like. It looks like a little bean in brackets with a diamond symbol behind it. And it should be found by the other Repentance items. This is a scary way to do this. 
Oh, dude, the, the mod is lagging it up so hard, too. Because <laughs> it's like, it's going through every item, I'm sure. Just be safe here. You definitely don't want Dark Prince's crown. Um, or, or Linger Bean, for that matter. Uh, I think it's like right and then down or something like that in order to get to the... Imagine if that had counted as our item, by the way. Um, but anyway, the, this actually is, is a huge blessing. This allows us to eliminate... Oh, these are, these are items from Repentance, so just be cool. Second knife piece. <laughs> there, I see it literally right there. Okay. It's literally right here. C-section. Launch a, launch a baby attached via umbilical cord. Deals 3x contact damage. And then it'll take us back. I don't appear to be doing that. Oh, so, like, all right. Uh, so when you say unimplemented, both you can't get it and it also doesn't work. Okay, that's fair. That was my improper interpretation of what unimplemented means. My mistake. Um, but it, it is hard to be mad because we literally... Just for existing up to this point. Let me close that wiki in the background. Because um, I don't want to be accused of resonance behavior here. Just for uh, being on this run up to this point, we have justified its existence. C-section is probably the hardest item in the game to get. Full stop. Um, and as a result, I feel like we, we, we're kind of sitting pretty now. Like this, we still need some stuff. Where, like we've, we've never picked up Salvation on a non-challenge run. I remember that. Um, we're going to use this on the secret room. Because who knows, man? Like an R key or something like that? Rock bottom? Like, Death Certificate seems like such a fun item when we don't need to use it just... Eh. <laughs> when we don't need to use it just to fish for... Um, Items we don't have, it's going to be cool. But I'm, I'm trying to think of the other stuff. I don't think we've ever had, like, not Guardian Spear, but there's, like, Spirit Sword or something like that. I don't think we've ever had that. Um, at the risk of being insane, I, I'm actually a believer. You, you want us to make Boss Rush, too. Okay, so we got to go a little faster. Admittedly, if you take the Alt Path, Boss Rush uh, shows up at, at 25 minutes so in in theory you can try it that way and again remember what i said a few episodes ago it's all about like making a good faith effort to to get there so like as of right now i'm i'm still making that good faith effort just want to see what we got you never know well i'm still trying some pills hematemesis could be better Full health? Okay, is is totally fine. I guess we could have lost red hearts on that one then and, and felt fine about it. Um, the thing is, like, the most important thing for us is probably preserving either the angel or devil deals, but also getting double item rooms. It We're, we're throwing ourselves, you know, very much into Lux hands, but we don't have much of a choice in the matter. So the way I understand this, like, oh man... Okay. Uh, the way I... Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. I gotta be honest, infestation, not that bad. But the way I understand our keeper's box or whatever this is called is that, like, the best way to use it is just to use it essentially always. I know this looks a little goofy here, but... Totally worked. Um, it is just to constantly, like, be using it. Lockdown, it's not that big of a deal. How can we still have so many, uh, so many unknown pills, man? So the way I understand it is that you, you, you basically, it, it could give you a random shop, which honestly, or a random shop option, which is honestly pretty good. Um, especially once you get later in the game and you have money that you have no need for. Um... But you want it to create situations where it generates items, like shop items for you. That could have been a little nasty. Like the coupon, for example. And the coupon simply existing really actually makes me want to go for this because 
uh, go for the amount of money required because that means that we could get deals with the devil for free, which on a very limited amount of HP is, is quite precious. And I, I do understand we're <laughs> behind schedule, to put it politely, for, uh, yeah, for boss rush right now. Um, come on. I, we just, if we can't get it for this deal with the devil, so be it, but... You gotta at least give me a chance, man. Come on, we just need five cents. Like, it's the only time I've ever been upset to get such an easy HP upgrade. For now, we, we still want our deal with the devil here. Oh, that's fine. Um, in, in spite of the fact that, you know, we, we do think that maybe later we could get it for free. That's okay. We still want it right now. And of course, we got it. Um, you're gonna need, like, something like this. And then we might as well just see what we got. Uh, so this makes... Well, the, the pact is like a gimme. This makes deals with the devil cost money instead of HP. Which I actually have to look to as, like, potentially being pretty amazing. Okay, so we're not gonna get the coupon. That hurts. It burns me up deep inside. However, we're building a, something of a... It's a very high-risk run. <laughs> that I, I wouldn't take issue with that statement whatsoever. Um, let's see what Control-Q does real quick. Pretty fly. Okay, Control-Space, please. Thank you. Um, but it, it, it definitely you can see how it leads to a win. Um, how does it happen? Money plus... Great deals with the devil. I mean, it's basically it. Um, and maybe some good keeper keepers lockbox on the way. Like, I have no idea how that will manifest. But, um, and I'm, I'm just to be clear, my intention on this run was not to really continue on the alt path. Um, I, I'd like to get double item rooms wherever possible. I actually think. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I remember. Shop items now also cost HP. Uh, we lost our bone heart there, which sucks real bad, but um, shop items cost HP or, or you know, some, sometimes temporary, sometimes real. Um, but I think that that's kind of okay. In some situations, we'll, we'll be okay giving up and there's nothing we can do to change it right now, by the way. Um, Hematemesis? Okay, that could be worth something. I, th I think it's good. Anyway, our, my whole point was we're not going to stick with uh, our our long uh, alt path strategy. Bozo, that's not what you want to see. <laughs> Although it did give us two damage upgrades, um, which, you know, you, you could do worse than that for sure. Um, what, do we know the pill? Maybe the pill is, is worth it. It's unidentified. Okay. Hmm. It, it is going to make our shops worse, that's doubtless, but I, I think if we get the money, being able to buy this kind of stuff for a deal with the devil, or on a deal with the devil with money instead of HP is really good. Uh, I mean, presumably that loses us a whole spirit heart. You can concoct a world where it makes sense. Hold on, what, what does the magician do? We want mysterious paper. Big projectiles and repelling enemy aura. I'm not against it, so we'll, we'll just take control. Oh my god, what the... This is disastrous. Okay, um, you go in first. <laughs> I don't want to drop... Oh god, don't... Oh. <laughs> what a pain in the butt, man. So, like, could we just use a bomb? Probably. Um, I don't want it, though. Control space, control, control space. Uh, yeah, I, I could have told you that was going to happen. So we do have the soul effect. It's a bit spicy, but can I be the, you know, bearer of obvious news? Jacob and Esau is always, like, scuffed. It's never a run where you're like, oh, this is the, you know, all you do is tap fire and you win. It's always, like, there, there's always a catch. So good deals with the devil cost 30. And maybe I'm glad we didn't get a deal with the devil. I'll settle for a couple of uh, two of diamonds. I do see there's a two of hearts. Ace of spades is okay. 
moon. We didn't go to the moon on this floor, so let's go control space. High Priestess, Judgment. Okay, hold on. Control Q, we spawn a Judgment. Um, in all honesty, I don't think it's going to get the Judgment. Oh, it totally did. Okay. I think we do this just because our money means more to us later. Uh, like, a good deal with the Devil, if we have 60 cents in the bank, changes everything. We're way behind schedule for Boss Rush. I think that's... <laughs> Trust me when I say I'm I'm in the business of attempting to make a good faith effort for it. But it, it's not going to be easy. I totally forgot we got to go back through this freaking nightmare. Okay. Two of hearts, we don't really care. The fool, we don't really care. The empress, we don't really care. Uh, I think I think high priestess and ace of spades is fine. We gave up a hematemesis, but I, I don't mind it. And now we're back on our normal path, which should be a little easier. Quick control space means a lot here. Um, you, you got a peep. That's totally... At at some point, I'm telling you, we, we might find a use case for that. I, In my heart of hearts, I believe that the way that this run comes to pass... By the way, can I tell you? I think this is an example after being a little rude to the game. And we're going to speed up and, and not grab that key just yet. Because I am in the, in the business of trying to speed up here. Make sure we got a good chance to make boss rush. Um, I think this is an example of Zane done right. Once every four rooms making a, a wager that costs us HP to give us something. It hasn't manifested in anything too, uh, too crazy up to this point. But it's kind of an interesting... Okay, I don't even know. I think I picked up a moon card there. <laughs> that hurts. Um, but it, it's interesting for sure. I must have walked on the spikes. That's my only explanation for what happened here. And, you know, this is a good lesson in the idea that life comes at you fast. When we had a couple of spirit hearts, we weren't sweating that we were on top of the world. King of the castle. King of the castle. Now... Um, teleports you to the ultra secret room. Pathway back will be made of red rooms. You know? <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I mean, like, why not, right? Like, I think we can just use the regular moon card to teleport back. Um, both of our characters are very similar here, so I don't think it matters too much who gets what. Um, and then control Q and just, just take me back. I mean, we, we might want to visit maybe more red rooms... I'm, I, I shouldn't act like I'm not happy with that, because that's it's a very nice get, actually, for free. Uh, it is also an item that occasionally just, you know, ruins your run, um, which is what happened there. But, you know, we, we had some fun in the interim period. Let's run back one real quick. Kane Ubermom. That's a little bit more my speed right now, I think. Um, I had fun. Um, oh, sorry, yeah, by the way, this is, uh, you, can, you can see my actual scuffed video feed here. Um, it's, uh, I'm not upset by that one. I, I thought we, we gave it our honest try. I will say there's a, a plethora of characters that the randomizer has, as of this point, not really seen fit to give me. Um, that's okay, and I, you know, I don't, I don't mind playing as Tainted... Or as Jacob and Esau, it's always a fun time. Just throwing out there that, like... I, I guess I'm throwing out there that that's the the, the pain of random, you know? Is that you, you kind of want, like... If, if you want to get an equal distribution of every character, then don't use a randomizer. Because you might end up playing Jacob and Esau three times uh, for every zero times that you play Tainted... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to complain. I don't know. Who, who do I like? <laughs> Tainted uh, Samson? There you go. Anyway. I had fun on that run. I, again, like, let's let's not ignore the fact. Death Certificate and C-Section is, is pretty huge. I, I know, like... So we're missing four items now, I think. One of them is Salvation, which is the fish. One of them is the sword. Um, but not Guardian Spear. The others, you know, when we get a chance, we'll we'll see. I will admit, actually, when we picked up um, Vengeful, not Vanishing Twin, but you know, like Ven. Oh, great, great damage there. Um, the when you kill an enemy, it becomes a ghost. The ghost explodes and does damage. I don't know if we've ever had that item before. So we we're 
getting really close to dead god. At which point we get copy save file and then have like one save file for streams, one save file for YouTube, which is a very, like it's a carrot on a stick for me, for sure. And we're going, this is an uber mom run. Wait a minute, I was totally wrong, by the way. Like, I, it was scuffed from the get-go. Why was I saying I don't need to go the alt path when, like, the only way you get to a mother is by going the alt path and getting the key? That is how you do the run. <laughs> so I will be going on the alt path. We maybe don't have to go right away. Still, even with one character, it's nice to go alt path and get a... Uh, a choice, but the risk of losing your deal with the devil and thus delaying a potential deal with the angel is is quite high. Um, I'll, I'll probably just stick with the normal path for now and just save a key. Yeah, so we're we're going to Uber Mom. Uber Mom. Why didn't you say? Why do you say a mother? Who's that? Uber Mom. If you want me to respond to something and understand it, then you're gonna need to put it in uh, Danglish, please. Geez. Geesling ease, if you will. You won't? Okay, well, that's fair as well. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll work around you then. <laughs> I'll work around your schedule. Uh, this floor, uh, and uh, again, very easy. It doesn't take a, a road scholar to point out the when you see things that are negative. I will just say, uh, seems like a, maybe a little bit stacked in favor of large rooms, but that's okay. In all likelihood... Uh, we're we're gonna be an angel room individual right now. Feel like it makes a lot more sense to prioritize the angel deals. Something remains. There we go. Uh, when our HP is low, there there can be exceptions. Uh, opening a red chest and getting uh, two troll bombs that blow up a bunch of rocks that leads to nothing is not one of those exceptions. We'll probably refer to that more aptly as like a base case, for example. No, just, to, I got greedy. I got greedy here. Always nice to get a lucky penny. These uh, enemies are going to explode, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some nasty runes. This could be big. It's not. It's fine, but it's not. <laughs> I'm like, I'm skittish. Like, we've lost so many uh, Isaac runs. I mean, I, I also need to pull back the curtain. These are, for me, they've all been on the same day. Now, what are you going to do? Okay, so one of them we came close. We lost due to my own... It, uh, an edge case scenario, among other things, um, that we probably could have predicted, but simultaneously, like, it happens, right? Um, that, that's an honest loss. Then we had TM Trainer, where I cyber-bullied myself into picking up an item that literally just took our HP from full to zero. A lot of fun. Really, really good addition to the game. Um, and then a, a, a Jacob and Esau run where, admittedly, I, you know, it's a real character. Like, you can, you can do your best. But at the same time, I don't think anybody, anybody would ever be like, oh, you really screwed that one up. <laughs> I think most people are like, you, you did what you could. Um, so the way I understand this, uh, like, cracked key. And that, by the way, the reason I took the Bible was indeed for, like, an easy mom kill. Um, a figure for seven cents, like, and also having a hanged man card you could reuse endlessly is kind of nice. Uh, you, oh, look at that. And now we can go back and buy the Spirit Heart. But I feel like the, um, the way you use it is to try to find a secret room that would be diagonal to the unexisting special room, or, or not diagonal to an existing special room. Which would mean... For example, that it could be here. I think this is an okay... Look, I might not have explained it properly. Um, I felt like I was a little incoherent while I was saying it. But at the same time, <laughs> did I or did I not end up with the big red question mark that's probably going to have salvation? Because that's the theme of the episode now, right? Is just... Uh, an item that we have not seen before? That's not salvation. It is Eden's soul, which I guess, you know, I gotta say, 
probably beats the Bible. Hold on, I, I just want to read. It always gives you two angel deals, right? No, it's the current item or the current room you're in. Um, okay. That's kind of sick. I would love to leave with the Bible, but like it's not likely to happen. Um, and remember, we got to go true ending or sorry, alt path after this. Oh my god, it just I, I'm realizing now that the run has just begun. <laughs> How can you Nancy bomb a golden bomb? Like that doesn't seem sensible to me. Shouldn't it cost us nothing then? Pills and uh, a, a deal with the devil that we say no to for the time being. I'm gonna take these. Health up. I can see. Uh, you, you didn't need to take the second one. That's okay. Second secret room. We didn't even go to our secret room, so this is like we got a a, a whole process here. But I have to admit, I'm feeling okay for sure. I think there's two ways that you play the uh, that you play an Eden Soul at this point. Everybody knows there's a there's a lot of high value items in secret rooms. That's true. Some of those high value items in secret rooms are, uh, <laughs> forgive me, a little annoying. Like, okay, I thought I used that in my last key by accident. Wow, that was unexpected. Um, we don't really want the item, but I guess it's nice to have it in no ways at all almost i mean i guess it's kind of a bomb um it gave us another room to get a charge for uh, eden soul so th there is that i guess um but a lot of the items that you would use uh from a secret room kind of annoying however on top of that there are some great ones i feel like if we could Time this with like a really uh, luckily gotten deal with the angel. We, we also would not be depressed about that. That would also be a pretty good return on our investment. I'll tell you straight up, man. Lead pencil, very sick. That's a very sick item. And the better our, our rate of fire gets, the better that gets. It's a nice item for Ubermom. Part of the Ubermom fight is is just genuinely putting damage down table. The faster you kill Ubermom, the less likely you know you are to die in the process, the less damage you'll take, etc. etc. And the money is, is going nicely here. We're going to uh, temporarily abstain here because there's a fairly realistic chance honestly that we could get our uh, our Eden soul to pop by the boss especially when you consider we got to use our fire to get the key piece anyway if we're uh, you my my angel deal my angel deal well now it's interesting <laughs> just a couple of rooms lucky very, very lucky on the dodge there. I'll own it. Okay, we have to go into the wall. I think we should. It's a little wild. But we'll... And then I'm like, what, what happens if we just leave? Like, we don't need to worry about it, right? Uh, you know what? Let's just be smart about it instead of stupid. Definitely in my head, I was like, let's propose something idiotic. Why don't we just leave and then come back? And then I'm like, hmm. Because it's dumb. Because what you've just described seems very stupid. I guess we could become the lost and then um, pick up the stuff we're missing. But I, I'm very content, honestly. I'm very content to just go back. We've done a good thing. Maybe we'll get a uh, deal with the angel. Maybe we won't. We Our odds have actually increased because we did just get a bomb. We can use said bomb to go like Blunk. Probably could have looked for a secret room adjacent there. Um, well, we didn't get a spirit heart like I thought it would. Makes it possible to spawn a second planetarium. I would love if I thought that that was good, but I, I just genuinely don't. <laughs> I, let's see, on most runs, we're not worried about a second. Just getting a first seems, like, impressive enough. I actually think, like, an hourglass is, is a pretty great get. 
but we're not gonna take it until because we have to take Eden Soul in. Maybe from that point onwards, if we if we can find a secret room. Oh, okay. Um, that took a rotten heart, which is actually incredible. So that means we didn't lose our deal with the angel, even though it's only a one third chance. I'm quite attached to the idea. You disappeared too quick. I hate that. Dude, I'm like struggling with this fight right now. Like, <laughs> I'm like, how are you so strong? Okay, so we take our tears upgrade. Good, good, good. Um, do we do we go glowing hourglass here? It just seems like so. <sighs> it's you know what we need a bomb. Oh, we don't need a bomb immediately, I suppose. You know what we do? I think you keep this Eden Soul, unless, unless, unless. I mean, this is a potential secret room. Secret room. I think if you find it, like, we're using it on a secret room instead of a devil. Sure. Okay, binge eater is is a lot of fun. Makes you immune to... It's a plus two luck. It makes you immune to all negatives, basically. Uh, binge Eater is like... Our, our HP will be no problem. So that's pretty cool. Plus two luck is like... It's nothing to sneeze at. It's nothing to be that excited about. Glowing Hourglass, I think, is like a, an item... I've, I've really come around to the idea that... It's probably worth the buy. Please... Please. <laughs> um, although Mr. Meesix, like... It, it's tough, okay? The reason I think this is as good as it is right now is just because uh, we can use it to get free uh, shop items. Not devil deals, in all likelihood, because we're, we're probably going angels, but... Okay, we need two bombs on this floor. This is, uh, this is an interesting setup here. It's an extremely good way for that to go. Let me just tell you that. Um, Mr. Dolly uh, has not found it within its heart anymore to drop spirit hearts or, or demon hearts, which is, uh, you know, we, we accept that. Mr. Mr. Oh, you know what? Because we didn't pick up Mr. Dolly, did we? No, we didn't. We picked up an HP upgrade instead, which is why, uh, and again, like, on the bright side, like, the... We, we would rather have Mr. Dolly. Oh, Lord. Hold on. I hear I hear a crying baby. I'm just going to chalk that up as... Uh, uh, oh, it was a baby-related incident. It was not me. It was a baby-related incident. One moment, please. All right. Well, this is a real test of the OBS pause function. Um, I think it's been three hours since I hit pause. I know... Hold on. We're, we're Kane. And <laughs> luckily, I left this open in the background. Kane to Ubermom. We, I remember a couple of things. Glowing Hourglass, Binge Eater. I, I said that it wasn't me making a mistake with Binge Eater. Picking up, uh, not Mr. Dolly, but an HP upgrade I don't even know the name of. Because, I, I mean, I guess it was breakfast there. Um, because it was, the baby was crying. By the way, the baby's fine. She's just in a, a cool new phase. Um, where whenever you try to uh, change her diaper, stop me if you've heard this one before. Uh, fellow parents, but whenever you change her diaper, uh, she's like, I don't want to lay on my back for See ya. even half a second. Uh, we might still get hit here, by the way. <laughs> so instead, I'm just going to like turn into uh, a, a human tornado and just constantly rotate. And then when my parents are like, please stop rotating, that's when I'm going to cry. And then it was like, you know... Then it was feeding time, then it was bath time, and, you know, it's, it's, that's why it's taking me so long to get back. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, remember, you got Binge Eater. Now look, I'm the honest truth about Binge Eater is that even if we don't get, like, even if we accidentally take HP when we'd rather not, by the way, which is why we'll probably pay for HP here, we're, we're stacking up damage. You get a real stat boost every single time as well. Like, I, I think you get... The way Binge Eater works, I think, is when you get HP, you get a temporary damage bonus, not unlike Red Stew. Uh, and you also pick up a permanent 
uh, attribute bonus, like a stats upgrade. So, there's a lot to like here. There's also a lot to like about the real... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's how that works. <laughs> there's a lot to like about the real Blood of the Martyr, which we actually picked up. I was freaking out because I saw that our, our damage stat also went up, but... It's okay. This is this is good. We don't know the pill. And that's fine. Um, do we have a syringe? We do. Okay, since we have a syringe, I will take Roid Rage. And we'll move on to the next floor. This this seems apt, right? Like this seems proper. We got the key piece, we got the, the key fragment. Wait, do we have the knife fragment? We do, okay. That's, I know I didn't say knife fragment, but you, you get the general gist. I'm, I'm getting my sea legs back. There was a thought, you know, for me that I was like, ah, you know, we've been paused for so long. Maybe I won't know what's going on when, I, when I'm coming back. Maybe it's better to just scrap and redo. And then I thought to myself, no. I have, I have like a Hippocratic Oath, right? Like this episode must see the light of day because we got death certificate C-section. So as much as this is probably like the most, in, in its own way, this is the longest Isaac episode I think I've ever recorded. It, it's certainly up there. I think there have been, um, right, don't stand there, uh, some other situations where like, uh, that's, that's good enough. Although I'm like, dude, HP is, is, is mighty nice. Mom's wig is pretty good. I mean, if we get the... It's less about, like, is HP worth more now? And more is, is like, do we expect Mom's wig to be, like, the worst of the, uh... Do, do we expect it to be worth getting an HP upgrade for now, knowing that we're probably gonna cap out, because the game spits out, a, you know, any number of dubious items at you? Don't outthink yourself on this one. Anyway, I know there was there was an episode like way back in the day, probably like close to two years ago now, where like there there was a brief time where we had a house cleaning service, and I like paused the episode to do something, and then after that the housekeeping service came. On this one, like I'm a I'm I'm a I'm a simple man, I think. Just take this out, or do you just wanna? And we could just snag this. Again, oh, that's actually amazing. Even though the glowing hourglass is really good. Ah, <laughs> that's fine. It's fine, okay? It's fine. F you, but it's fine. We gotta, we really gotta work on our, our trigger finger there. Um, I just, I, I remember like I, I went out, uh, that's whatever life goes on. I went out, like, had lunch, had like a, a couple of beers on the patio alongside of lunch, came back and was like, what the heck am I even talking about? Like, what's. It's hard enough. I mean, at least that was Afterbirth or Afterbirth Plus. It was like pre-25 different paths that you go down, but still a bit of a trip. Don't get me wrong. Okay, don't forget the knife piece. Very important that we don't forget the knife piece. I know that the Magician is like the soul? Actually seems kind of helpful at not getting hit by the rocks. Right? Yeah, that, not a good move. Just stood still. But I, I don't see a reason right now this couldn't make it through Ubermom. Like, our stats are actually really good. Fire rate's great. Damage is fine. HP, obviously, is better than we even want it to be. Um, yeah, not not that upset. I feel like Marrow kind of sucks, honestly. So, if, if I'm just being straight with you... Why don't you go ahead and give me one of these? Definitely need to get the uh, the knife piece. I'm really, I'm a believer in binge eater, quite frankly. There's very few items in the game that operate like in the same space where even if you make a mistake in what you take, like it still works out. It's really like, it's making the worst of a great situation, which might seem bad, but you know, whenever you have a choice, it's important to note that, like, you evaluate the choices relative to what what the alternatives are, but also, like, you can evaluate them in a vacuum to some extent. If your mom says, you know, what would you rather have for your 18th birthday? 
uh, like a Ferrari Testarossa or $50,000, you know, you might be like, well, the cash is cash. The car can only be a car. Or you might be like, oh, a Testarossa is worth like, I don't even know. It might not be worth that much money for all I know. But the important thing is, either way, you're, you're leaving better and, and much more hateable. <laughs> than uh, than when you started. The, ol the only bad choice would be to leave the room, which, uh, I don't know, maybe I've done on occasion with Binge Eater, wouldn't surprise me. Big HP base to operate from. We're gonna get spun. We're gonna get... Uh, we don't have PhD, but that's alright. Look at that. Kind of worked out regardless. Are we going to... Didn't we have a... We wanted to reroll our shop? No, because there's, there's four and a half volt... I don't really know if four and a half volt is all that in a bag of potato chips and all that. It's an expression that lots of kids are using these days. I'm very contemporaneous. However, um, I mean, I, actually, I think it might not be that good for us right now. We're getting, I mean, this is like technically the fifth floor. Fifth floor... We'd have some rerolls remaining, but I, I, I'm not sweating this too much. Just make sure after this you go, you take the proper path. That's the most important thing. And I honestly think if we take the proper path, the odds of this one blowing up in our face are, are really quite low. I'm mostly saying that because uh, we got like 10 HP, 9 HP, I guess, soon to be 15. Um, the reason is that, I mean, more HP gives you a, a it, the enemy has to do more to you to kill you in the first place, but it also makes, like, every card and pill that scales with HP much, much better. Like, a sun card on 0 HP is just the map. A sun card on 10 HP is like, thanks for the free win, Eddie. Thanks for the stimmy, yum yum. I never remember what the card is there, if, if it's even seated. It may or may not be. I still don't mind this. I heard some scuttlebutt. Some people like, ah, you know, should you really have to do this every single time? I'm like, you know, maybe not. <laughs> but I feel like I'm kind of used to it at this point. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, cause too much of a stink. Can I also say, I don't know, this might just be because of the way the spun works, actually. Um, but I kind of feel like, uh, oh, we shouldn't have taken the eternal heart yet because we're going to lose it when we go through the door. Probably, eh, it depends on, because like the blood bank doesn't take your eternal heart first anymore, right? Maybe, maybe it won't, actually. Copium. Um, Anyway, like, I don't know what I was talking about. I'm just trying to get through. I mean, this has been a, uh, this is like an Iron Man in some ways. Just make sure you take the right path. It did take my eternal heart for sure, but that's okay. Certainly a strange video. You know, we're, we're talking about, uh, you know, we got uh, Death Certificate, that one's uh, that's a wild one. We got C-Section, an item that does nothing. That should only take a second to fix. We got Binge Eater, actually like one of my favorite secret room items. Like, it, 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 it leads to some humor for sure. Um, and, and oftentimes it's at my expense, but that's fun nonetheless. I do hate that I, I threw my Angel Deal chance away here, but... I honestly also feel like we're kind of just sitting pretty. Like I, I don't, I don't see this as being a majorly concerning run. Like, or did we always have eleven damage? I kind of feel like something went. Uh, I mean, maybe after we got spun, we just got there. But I kind of feel like it got a little goofy. Like maybe our damage somehow got frozen. Oh well, that's uh, worse, but okay. Um, like our damage got frozen when we went into the. The key piece trial or whatever? I have no idea, but it just... I don't know, it seems quite high. Love to see a brimstone bomb. It, it yielded low there, but I'm not going to hold that against it. So if you're watching this and maybe you're looking for like actionable lessons for your own Isaac play, uh, I genuinely have nothing for you. <laughs> I feel like we've had a, 
a few runs in a row that have uh, very few lessons to be gleaned. Maybe don't take a Satanic Bible on Tainted Maggie is a really good one, really applicable one. And uh, don't take TM Trainer ever is, uh, is a definite classic. That's one I'd recommend. Uh, you know, I, I'd, I'd put that in the, in the Farmer's Almanac, honestly. I, I'd pass that one on. I guess we should be using our D6 if we're going to hold charged key, huh? Like, we're doing this in all the wrong order. We're, we're playing, like, the least optimized Isaac I, I think I've ever seen. We'll, we'll take a speed up. I do kind of I miss my PhD. No doubt about that. Alas, it's okay. I kind of feel like Nancy Bombs is, is a surprisingly good item. Let me give you, as long as you remember to use it, let me give you my thesis, okay? It's a very simple one. Um, no bomb effect except possibly Bomber Boy is worse than a default bomb. I'm just gonna level with you, man. Hold on. You know what? We should reroll. I'm definitely not going number two. Haha, <laughs> Malf would beg to differ. Remote detonator, huh? Well, let's uh, let's generate a charge off of this. It's getting like, dude, item description mod is lagging the crap out of this. But um, in that case, if no item uh, or if no bomb synergy is worse than a regular bomb, then as long as what the heck? Well, I, I'm happy to have it. Don't get me wrong. Um, it, it, it's not food, so it doesn't give us the stat upgrade. All right, whatever. Whatever, I'm not upset. Remote detonator, just, uh, I'll remember that, okay? It's not really your fault. Could have easily just taken an HP upgrade and some stats and run for the hills, but I didn't, and I, I you know, I guess that's on me. Anyway, long story short, if, if any bomb effect is better than a regular bomb, then every Nancy bomb will be better than the bomb that it could have been. Full stop. Yo, hold on. Dark arts, we don't really want... Um, so I think that the secret here is you just go like, hey, give me some freaking food. Like, I like Guppy's Eye. But I really don't think um, we're going to get to Guppy. And I'm actually going to... You know what? Let's just start stacking this HP, man. I, I know that we're capped out. Now, there was, a, there was a case to be made for Magical. Keep a Demon Heart instead of um, all red hearts. It makes it easier to get, like, devil deals in the future. But I was like, you know, we, we get the chance for, like, a permanent stat increase and a temporary nice stat increase. Who am I to say, like, nah, man. Exactly. Who, who am I to say nah, man? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. What I do know is that there's functionally, like, zero reason for us to be playing this at all. Um, and yet here I go doing it anyway. Uh, on, on the shop, perhaps, we can donate enough money to feel good. That's one of the bright spots recently. Like, our donation machine has been, has been doing some really good work. Or we've been doing some really good work with our donation machine. Is a much better way to describe it, because I really feel like I've been pulling my weight on that one. How far down can my damage go? Because, I mean... On the last floor, we got to 11-something. <laughs> I think it was 11.11. 11. And now I'm, okay, at 12.11, that, that kind of, that tracks. That tracks. I'm not upset anymore. Confused? Yes. Hungry? 50-50. I could always eat, but that, I think it's just the plight of a, a man approaching middle age. My appetite is like, it's, it's on a level like... It's Herculean. And I'm not even, like, that big of an eater, necessarily, but... I'll tell you, if I unrestrained the appetite... Oh, I'm, I'm scared. I think I could eat, like, six loaves of... I would be uncomfortable by the end of it, just to be clear. But I think, in principle, I could eat, like, six loaves of bread in a single sitting and be like, you know? And and feel fulfilled, at least. Like, feel like that was a good use of my of my my life force. Anyway, we're, this, we're not here talking about my, my carbohydrate addiction. You know what? Thank you so much. Um, and I know this. I know how this seems, but like, why not, right? 
think we you know what I've noticed now uh, I think a lot of the stats that I was hoping to get from binge eater have gone into luck which is not bad I mean eight luck with oh, I, I really thought we could squeeze there eight luck with no perfection is kind of like a really impressive stat to begin with um, Aquarius is fun but you know what would be really fun is like ghost pepper which is gonna be right here Book of Sin. What a, what a slap in the face, man. A good book. Thanks a lot. For nothing, I guess. Uh, judgment. Let's just see how this goes. This is not wise. I, I'm willing to bet a hundred billion dollars I'm going to make it out of that room without getting hit. You ready? Owned. Mm -hmm. Please make uh, checks payable to... Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna give you my like my bank account number. Um, okay. Well, it, you know, we got like reroll potential, obviously, but we all we have like a lack of desire, if that makes sense. You know, we're kind of like it, there's there's two be careful what you wish for's I've noticed in repentance so far. One is, um, hey, you asked for everything to be zany. Great job, dummy. Now everything's zany. We can just take for sure. Um, you know, and now you gotta play as Tainted Eden once every 30 runs, and, uh, you don't really like it that much, even though we're trying to really give it an honest effort. Um, and then the other one is, hey, you said you wanted, like, more Flash-style runs, where literally you just have a lot of HP, and then you just crank stats, because there were only, like, four different archetypes of items in the game in 2011. Well, guess what? Here you go. <laughs> you... Da -dum -da -dum. Da -dum -dum -dum. That's that's the baseline. Oh, you don't know it's the baseline to Once in a Lifetime by the Talking Heads. Great, great song. One of the best, I would say. I would definitely put it up there. Oh, you're not gonna put it. What would you put up instead? Naive melody. Oh, look. Naive melody. Open parenthesis. This must be the place. Great song. What are you going to put out? Seen and not seen? Don't get me wrong. It fits in super nicely within the context of, you know, B-side remain in light. But as a single, like, nobody's going to the DJ going, hey, can you play seen and not seen? He wonders if he too made a mistake on some juvenile whim. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. This one goes out to the, um, <laughs> the commenter explaining the music references. That one is seen and not seen by the Talking Heads. It's one of the last songs on, uh... Their 1981 album, Remain in Light. Now we're talking. Magician. The Moon. Temperance. Um, what does Super Magician do? I know we went through this. Grants a big projectile and repelling aura for one minute. Actually, like, extremely great for boss fights. These big boss fights, that's where you gotta start to leverage your... Uh, your cards, your pills, your your so ons, your your Ted's, your bills. No, thank you. I mean, this is like a. It feels like an ill-gotten gain, kind of. You know what this just goes to show you? Like, I mean, the run is good. Don't get me wrong. We got spun. We got some great components for spun to begin with. We got the D six. Like, we we get some positive stuff going on here. But it also goes to show you that at the end of the day, HP is still very powerful. Like, the biggest thing that we've got going on this run is, uh, you know, 12 HP. 9 luck doesn't hurt. I don't know where that's supposed to manifest when we're not going to the chest, but... <laughs> In theory, 9 luck is, like, amazing if we could just get a single tier effect. Ah, whatever. I think it's a speed up, but, like, you know, something, something... You're the kind of guy who would slow down to pick up a speed upgrade, you know? I don't know if there's even a joke there. I think that the Magician's probably better than Strength. Strength has one additional use case uh, here you might not expect, which is like if we take one hit on the boss fight, then we can pop Strength and get it back, but I don't think that's gonna... You know, the juice is gonna be worth the squeeze on that. In fact, I think the juice has already been squeezed. It's just the question of whether or not, you know, like how much, how much rind do you want in your juice? Normally, I'm like 100% juice, 0% rind. 
Pulp is always a weird one to me. I don't know if this is like the oldest joke in the world. People sometimes ask me, you know, on orange juice, like, are you pulp or no pulp? And the answer is, I don't really care. Um, has that always done that? Maybe I've only fought you like three times. <laughs> um, I think that might be true. I think I might have only fought you like three times. I, I really like, I mean, if, if push comes to shove, I think you just take HP, man, because like I, I think we're already at the cap. 6.00 tiers is like too good to be true. Um, I suppose we could have rerolled. That's what it's there for. But I, uh, I'll, I'll take whatever. I'm not gonna be picky. the The big difference in orange juice is like, you know, are you getting some Tropicana, which tastes a little bit like, you know, orange vinegar. Or are you getting, you know, like, I mean, I'm not trying to be a snob about it. I don't buy orange juice because, like, I only really like fresh squeezed orange juice and it's super expensive. Which is why I don't drink, like, orange juice in general on top of the fact that really no fruit juice consumed to that, you know, amount of volume that the orange juice lobby wants you to, you know, the Chamber of Commerce of Greater Pensacola, Florida wants you eating like two glasses of orange juice for breakfast every single day and then, you know, maybe one before bed just to make sure you got 700% of your daily dose of vitamin C. Um, but we don't need to get into the whole is orange juice good or bad for you thing. It's more like pulp. I'm just surprised. Like the orange juice industry, they got some powerful marketers, right? I don't think there's another juice on the market where they're selling pulp. I mean, I don't know if there's much apple pulp, okay? But there might be. And I gotta imagine, like, when it comes to lemonade, like, you can either get a pulped lemonade or a, or a pulpless lemonade. But they don't even ask. They're like, nobody wants the lemon pulp in there. It's weird. Is it not weird that it's just an orange thing? Unless I miss... I mean, I guess you can... I think you can get coconut water with pulp or no pulp. Coconut water is, is one of my favorite drinks to crave... Uh, and then drink it and be like, oh right, this does not taste like what I was craving. <laughs> this kind of tastes like the sweat of somebody who drinks a lot of Gatorade. I think what I wanted was Gatorade. Is it in you? That being said, I... On a, and, and I know like everyone's always like, it's isotonic or whatever, but... Um, or it has the, the exact pH balance of human... Uh, the, you know, like limp for something like that i can't remember but on a on a summer's day you've been walking a lot it's really hot nothing hits the spot like a coconut water kind of tastes like medicine um why am i even dodging these man uh but also like it, it can really hit the spot like you'll you'll feel right as rain you know it's like one of the oracle's cookies from uh the matrix Okay, our magician effect has worn off. You think that's what uh, Fred Durst was talking about in uh, Nookie? So you can take that cookie? I mean, I can't think of any other cookies that are, you know, so noteworthy that you could just say that cookie and you know what you're, you're talking about, right? Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about to begin with, but somehow we won this run. <laughs> I believe we're missing four items. Let's go take a quick check on that. I see one, two, three. Then I see there's options, which is, you know, or options? One, two, three. Um, maybe we're only missing three? Because these are, these were not new to repentance. New to repentance seems to start just give it a sec. I, I can do this. I can do this. With with mucormycosis, I think. Okay. And then I only I, I think I'm only missing three question marks then. This, this, and this. One of them is the sword. I don't know the other two, but I'm sure someone will tell me. So thank you for that. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Apart from that, we made it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!